Cars, money, fame. We all know that people like John Cena, Paris Hilton, and my good old friend Jay Leno all have insane car collections. But there's some celebrities that you might not even think of as car people, and they have some really surprisingly very cool cars. From NFL players, to rappers, to YouTubers. Today, we're gonna talk about 13 of the most surprising cars owned by famous people. And guys, some of these cars are ludicrous. Remember, we love you. This is D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-
until somebody passed them on the road as they were towing it home, radioed them on a CB radio and said, Hey there, good buddy. You know that's Wet Nelly, right? Turns out that the car was the Lotus Esprit used in the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. And not just any Lotus Esprit used in the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me, but the actual under water one. Wet Nelly, they call her. Wet Nelly, they call her. Apparently, they call her Wet Nelly. I don't know who they is. James, who's they? I don't know, but they call her Wet Nelly. They put her up for auction in 2013 and telephone bidder paid $997,000. That bidder was none other than Tesla CEO, professional spaceman, and father of Elon Musk. He's gonna try and convert Wet Nelly to have a Tesla drivetrain and then see if he can make it transform from land to sea for real. Speaking of Teslas. Simone Yetz. Simone Yetz is one of the raddest people on YouTube. The engineer and self-titled queen of robots has a long history of building machines that are hilarious, inventing home hacks that work, and sometimes just, you know, fooling around, all in the name of science. Most recently though, Simone undertook the biggest build of her life. She made a Tesla truck before Tesla ever even friggin' made a friggin' truck. So we here at Donut are no strangers to the world of incredible car customization. We're the guys that turned a Dodge Dakota into a Gucci flip-flop and then gave it to Bad Baby. That took us a day. Simone and her team spent a year planning before they even made the first cut. I also just wanna take a moment again to apologize to all of our Australian fans for calling the Holden Maloo a truck in a previous episode. I think about it every day. It's not a truck, it's a ute, and it doesn't have a bed, it has a tray. Guy Yeti loves cars. Now you might have noticed his cherry red 67 Camaro from the opening of his show. But what a lot of people don't know is that Guy has a bigger collection back home. And much like his goatee, the color choice of his cars is a little sus. And by sus, I mean suspended. That's right. Guy Fieri owns a ton of yellow cars. I love yellow cars. We made a whole video about it. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, Guy's got a yellow CJ5 Jeep, a yellow Chevelle, a yellow Camaro, a yellow Corvette, a yellow Kodiak, another yellow Corvette, a yellow Gallardo, a yellow DB9. It's a freaking golden shower of cars at Guy Fieri's house. Guy is a man of impeccable taste and an all around really great human. So can we all just agree to not hate on Guy Fieri anymore? Anymore. He's cool. And you know who else is cool? Meek Mill. Meek Mill is from the city of brotherly love, but sometimes you got to protect yourself. So that's probably why he decided to invest in a Conquest Knight XV SUV. And I use the term SUV very generously. Built in Canada and limited to a production run of just 100, this armored go anywhere, go through anything SUV is powered by either a 6.7 liter Ford turbo diesel V8 or 6.8 liter V10. Conquest offers upgrades and options, including a built-in oxygen survival kit, multiple armor levels. It's even got an under vehicle bomb detection. Your car's like, just a heads up. You're on a bomb right now. Even more impressive is the price. $629,000. $629,000. mommy. This thing is as close to a tank as you can get legally if you're not a cop. It's definitely not the meekest car that you can buy. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal is quite literally a massive car enthusiast. This dude is big. Here's a photo of him next to Bill Gates for scale. Shaq's Ford S650 is a monster commercial sized truck modified to look like a consumer pickup. It has a ton of space for a gigantic man like Shaq who makes the truck look pretty normal sized. This is Bill Gates next to a normal sized truck. Also, it's called the super truck and we all know that Shaq's nickname is Superman. Coincidence? There's no such thing as coincidence. This is what I've 
been trying to tell you guys this whole freaking time, all right? Nothing exists, not even me, you made me up. These trucks start at around $70,000 from the Ford factory, and once modified, can cost upwards of $200,000. But that's a drop in the bucket for a triple threat like Shaq. I mean, this dude has done everything from acting, to rapping, to being in a karate video game. I also think that he played basketball. David Letterman is the second late night talk show host on this list that I really look up to who also has a sick 90 sleeper. He owns this maroon Volvo 960 wagon with a freaking supercharged Ford V8 in it. Hell yeah, brother. But it gets better. The original owner of this Volvo was Paul Newman, actor, race car driver, salad dressing guy, and all around good human. The story goes... Newman commissioned a company to build him a 960 with a 5 liter Ford V8. And the next week, he called up Letterman and they got to talking. Next thing Dave knows, Newman offered to have one built for him. And you don't say no when Paul Newman offers to build you a car. They stuffed a Ford 302 into the Volvo's engine bay and supercharged them for good measure. The result was 400 horsepowers and a car that would, in Newman's words, chew anybody's ass from 20 to 100. Gross. Alfred Morris. Now this is the kind of story that just actually does warm your heart. This is a heartwarming story. Alfred Morris, former Washington football player, 49er, Cardinal, and Cowboy, as you can imagine, made some pretty good money during his career. And yes, for the majority of that career, this 1991 Mazda 626 was his daily driver. He bought it from his college pastor in 2012, the year that he was drafted to Washington's football team and continued to drive it throughout his career because it reminded him of his humble roots. This did not go unnoticed and eventually Mazda themselves stepped in and did a full restoration on the car from the frame up, spending over four months replacing every single nut and bolt and making the 626 factory fresh again. And as an homage to its roots, they decided to leave the college parking sticker on the windshield. Consider your tears. Jerked. Look, I don't know if you guys have seen any of my other videos, but I mentioned Post Malone on this channel a lot, mostly because he's the best way to put things in historical context. You can't argue with that, but he also has some pretty cool taste in cars. He's got a Hennessy 6x6, an LS Swap C10, and a Chiron, just to name a few. But the one that we love the most is Posty's 1992 Ford Explorer. Now this Explorer was originally bought for 1700 bucks and was turned into a slab car at the cost of over 70 grand, an homage to Austin's Houston roots. Yes, we are on a first name basis, don't at me. Now slab stands for cars that are slow, low, and banging. They usually have a display in their trunk and massive speakers. If you're into slabs, check out this wheelhouse on Cars and Wrap. Post Explorer was modified by West Coast Customs, and I gotta say, they did a much better job on this than whatever Will I Am's got going on. It has Lambo doors, huge 26 inch rims and spinners. Yes, I said rims. These are wheels, these are rims. Lady Gaga. One of the most successful and influential musical artists of the last 15 years, aside from Baby Goo Goo, is Stephanie Germanata, AKA Lady Gaga. Gaga has a really awesome collection of cars. She's got an Ivy Green 66 Mustang, Chevy Nova SS, Ford Bronco, Lincoln Continental, El Camino. You get the idea, all right? Gaga loves classic American cars, but her most prized car just so happens to be one of the baddest trucks ever made. That's right, Lady G has a 1993 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, 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 Lightning. We've talked about the Lightning a lot on this channel. We have an episode of my other show, Up to Speed, coming out talking about it even more. And we just think it's so cool that Lady Gaga has one of these. I don't care what anybody says, Lady Gaga friggin' slaps. I'm in a lightning, I keep on driving, you cannot catch me now. Coming in at number one on our list of famous people with the most unusual cars is, well, a bit of a legend. An Acura legend, also a rap legend. Put 
Ludacris. Ludacris has a lot of money, you know, because of the rapping and the record company executive in. I mean, the guy was in freaking Fast and Furious movies for Peter's sake. He can have any car he wants, and he pretty much does. He's got a BMW i8, he's got a Rolls Royce, he's got a Ford GT, he's got an Acura NSX. But it may surprise you to know that Ludacris's favorite car, the car he loves above all of his other cars, is a different Acura. His 1993 Acura legend. When he bought the car, it was literally his dream car in his dream color. And so through all of his successes, he's held on to it. He says that the majority of his first four albums were written driving to and from the studio in this Acura, which is basically the equivalent of doing your homework on the school bus on your way to school, but I digress. He describes the car as the most ideal balance of sophistication and luxury mixed with, you know, a little bit of sport, which he says fits his personality perfectly. I love that. I bet Ludacris is the nicest guy. Now, Chris put an incredible 283,000 miles on this car, which is further than the distance from the earth to the moon. And then sadly, he was involved in a wreck that threatened to end the legend. Thankfully, Acura, knowing what the car meant to Ludacris, stepped in and made the vital repairs and restorations to make the legend feel brand new all over again. They even lowered it a little bit, added some big brakes and some raised wheels. To quote Ludacris himself, the legend was back and better than ever. Now, at the end of the day, a lot of people with money have boring taste in cars, and it's fun to see that some of them like the cool stuff that you and I like. I mean, they really are just like you and me, except really not at all. <laughs> really the only thing that I'm aware of that we all have in common is that we like cars, but you know what? That's enough. That is enough. Thank you guys for watching Donut Media. If you're new here, welcome aboard. We'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss anything. We got a new video damn near every day on this channel. We also got a bunch of merch. I'm not wearing any right now. I'll probably get in trouble, but if you want to pick some up, believe me, it's pretty cool looking. Go to donutmedia.com. To learn more about the Acura Legend, check out this episode of my other show, Up to Speed. And to learn more about another bad ass truck that Lady Gaga doesn't own, I don't think. Check out this episode of Bumper to Bumper. I love you.